Hi creatives, welcome back to my channel. This is actually my voice dubbed over a video that is a blooper because <laughs> it didn't work, my sound wasn't working. So I just thought I'd make the best of it and we're going to just jump into the, vid the, the vlog anyway. So this week's vlog is about families and connection and here is a beautiful family of ducks and ducklings and if you can imagine one of those ducklings is my husband and he has just flown off to the other side of the world to be with his dad uh, at a time when it's really important for him to be there and so um, this is a lamp that we have of the world that lights up and uh, my husband Keith really loves this lamp and I had this idea of uh, taking some photographs of the the different parts of the lamp. We, ca we live in Australia and uh, his father lives way over the other side of the world in the US and so I've taken some snapshots of where the plane would be travelling to and then I've printed those out and I'm collaging together these little postcards so that I can send a little bit of snail mail uh, over to them and still feel that great connection even though we chat uh, over WhatsApp. I just really love this idea of creating something and staying connected in that way. So I hope you enjoy this vlog and I'm just going to be showing you a little bit about the last few days. Mango did make a a little appearance <laughs> in this vlog. She's uh, sit here sitting on Keith's suitcase just before he was about to leave. And then we discovered this amazing lake that neither of us knew existed out near the airport. And there was this whole colony of ibis there with their young nesting and this plane flying over so very timely and uh, just a few minutes from the airport and so we got to spend some time in nature we had a little picnic out there and we got to watch these incredible birds flying around making nesting material you know finding sticks and making nests for their young and yeah, it was, it was actually a really lovely way to say our goodbyes before he flew off. And this is my husband. It was just he just finished blowing me a kiss <laughs> when I took the photo and and that's my feet at the park that I sometimes go to it's still very wintry here lots of rain interspersed with the occasional sunny day and a perfect time to be in the studio so back to the lamp story. So the way that I started the creativity process was, like I said earlier, taking some photos of the different parts of the world. And then I, used, I printed those onto some tissue paper. And the way that I like to do this is I get a just the normal copy paper that's in the printer. And I use some double-sided tape, which I'm doing here, not, not very successfully, but, uh, and so I put the, the double-sided tape onto the copy paper and I peel the top off and then I tape down the tissue paper over it, just on one end. And then I put this into the photocopy machine 
and I print out the photographs. And this is me just tearing off the, the tissue paper. There is an easier way to do this. You can wet it uh, with a brush, which I'll show later. Uh, and then I'm cutting. I, this actually photocopied onto the edge of the print paper. And so I'm just cutting that off with the, tearing it off with the ruler. Because I want to use those pieces for other collages at a later time. This piece of paper, I printed out a photograph of Keith and I together and I printed some of the map over the top of it and some other stencils so that it's quite, it's collaged already in its own right. And these are all the lovely little pieces that I tore off the copy paper. And this is the sort of final sections of the tissue the printed tissue paper that I'm going to make the postcards from so I've got these little cards and then onto my little tray which I've got some damp cloth and a little bit of baking paper over the top I'm going to put some PVA glue down and I'm just going to be using a brush and applying that to uh, adhere the collage papers. But first I'm going to cut them down to smaller sizes and here I'm using the paintbrush so it makes it a little bit easier. So I'm just running a damp paintbrush along the line and then the tissue paper tears really easily. And then once I have the different sizes, so some shorter, rectangular, um, square, uh, with the particular sections of the world that are, you know, meaningful for us, then, then I've glued them down onto the card, overlaying them, uh, running in different directions as well, just because I like a little bit of interest in that way, and it also um, has created some texture onto the card. I'm keeping all the offcuts to use in future collages, so none of it's going to be wasted. And once the glue is dry, then I was able to put the card into my old typewriter and type a lovely message to my husband. So I hope that's been inspiring for you. I'm really super, super happy with the end results. And even though my husband and I and my father-in-law are miles apart on different continents at the moment, I really feel like these creative collaged postcards are a really lovely way to stay connected. It's always so enjoyable to get snail mail in the letterbox, um, even though we do communicate over WhatsApp. So I'll leave you with this little kookaburra. That was, the photograph was taken by my friend Isabel Pease. And I hope that you have been inspired to possibly create your own snail mail for your loved ones if you find yourselves far apart from each other at the moment. Thanks for watching and see you again next time.